M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Two questions to answer. How do you change the timeout stroke brightness on the screen? Also, how do you scan? So let's just do one at a time. First thing, let's do scan. So if we go into VFO mode, we're in memory mode. How do we know? Look, it says 001 if we go up and down the arrows. We're changing channels and channel names. If we press the hash, hash here, we go into what's called VFO mode. We can type frequencies now. One, four, five, which is pretty cool. Like so. And you can go A and B with the nice clear A, B button. The other thing you can do with a hash button is you can hold it and get radio. See? Hold it again, back. Anyway, let's do the scanning thing. So go to VFO, type the frequency. This radio will do 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Yes, it will do PMR, GMRS. Um, if you want to open that up, you just press the, the bottom button here whilst holding 9. Hold those two and turn it on and it will open it up. Of course, stay within your licensing conditions. Now to scan, it's really simple. If you've got the, you do need the latest firmware. I have made a video on that. Just show you now to, how to see your firmware. Press F and then just start going down until you see firmware, which is number 39, okay? So B91.30 is the firmware I've got. Back out with the A, B button. And once you've got that, the presets for these buttons, one of them is to scan. So if you press the bottom one, watch what happens. A, a new emblem shows on the screen and it starts to scan. That easy. And then you can go change direction. So at the moment it's scanning upwards. Let's press the down arrow now scanning down, up and down. Press F and it stops. Next one is screen dim. F menu opens up your entire menu. So press F and you don't see the menu numbers at first. As soon as you press one of the arrows, it, it appears, okay? And so if you go up, you go what you can see there, one, two, three, four. So we're looking for, and I'll just show you what we pass. Number one is scan, two is main channel, three is vox, power at number four, and it's also the shortcut is shown on, on the back keys here. And eventually, you'll get to LED light on. Now, LED light on is actually screen. Yeah, the LED lights that's lighting up the screen and it's told to stay on at the moment. Press F. When you're in menu seven, press F again. When you press F again, you've told it you're going to change the parameter, but you haven't changed it yet, but you can. When the arrow's down there, you can go up or down. So let's say we want it for five seconds and to confirm, you always press F. Anything you do, you press F. The arrow goes up and you back out with the A, B. Now, if we count to five, that should, turn off, Ta -da. And, the, and then it will come back on when you press the menu. Now the other one, if you go to menu number eight, press F again, it goes, the arrow goes down, it's showing you number three, that's the brightness level. So press, we're already there, well sorry, it's timed out, but we'll press F, we want the same menu, press F again, Go up, goes up to number seven. Press F again, look how bright that is. Press F again, let's go down, we like it about four. F, and there you are, I like it actually dimmer than that. That's, that's much more comfortable. And then we've saved, and so we back out with the AB button. And that's it, that's your screen brightness. So thanks very much. I mean. It's a basic set, but the fact that it actually does 10 watts, I think, is quite a big deal. It's a real chunky, it's a real chunky thing. So, as you can see, and it's quite a nice looking, chunky, old fashioned. It's got a torch, 2500 milliamp hour battery, programmable with chirp. I think it's a good device myself. It's 70 pound, maybe less if you get a deal. And I just think,
So nice look at and how many radio, how many handhelds will actually do 10 watts. There aren't many, and this is one of them. And it does do it, I've tested it. 7-3, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Catch you on air, 7-3.